morning, you guys. Today is Reagan's first day of her new dance class. So we've got to get everybody ready and out the door. And I'm really excited for her and, of course, nervous just as a mom. Like, this is her first big transition. I know I'm overthinking it and she's going to be fine and going to have a blast. But it's still like one of those things as a mom you're like hopeful that your child just integrates well in this new situation and just goes smoothly and she makes friends and all of those thoughts but I have like 100% confidence that it will be okay because she's amazing and she loves making new friends and she's done so well with this transition so far um, but that's what we've got going on this morning she's so excited we got her a new little leotard from Amazon it's mermaid themed she got some new ballet shoes I ordered because she outgrew her other ones. I'm just really excited and a little nervous to get everybody out and to go. We're gonna try to go a little early just to like get the, the rundown because I just registered online without ever like going in. Wes is down there, he's good, he's changed, he's fed, he's playing. The big kids are watching a show. I'm gonna get ready, set out their clothes and head out. Welcome to my 1990s bathroom. I've decided the previous owners must have redone this bathroom at some point in the course of their years here because I think I see some remnants of old wallpaper behind this current wallpaper. So when we finally get to demoing this, we'll see what's behind here. But just doing my skincare, I definitely dried my face with my shirt because I'm pretty sure that hand towel was a little nasty. So now I'm just doing my super quick like five minute honestly probably less than that makeup i'll try to link all of my like skincare and makeup products down below if you're curious what i've been using but this bathroom is the bathroom that all five of us are using at the moment it's the only one that's fully put together the other ones are just toilets so we will be living with this space probably for the next year this is like the lowest thing on our to-do list because it really isn't frequented by anyone that like comes over to our house so it's kind of like our hidden time capsule basically so the next thing on our to-do list probably for the house renovation is to finish the kitchen obviously because that's part of phase one but then I'm thinking hopefully our bathroom Room will be next you'll see it in a second it is just a shell of a bathroom at the moment we also don't have any curtain not curtain rods closet rods right now so all of our clothes are just on the ground it's been a little chaotic we're probably not as put together as we should be for the kids it's not that big of a deal because all their clothes goes in dressers anyway but for Banner and I it's been a little interesting we're still living out of suitcases and a box of clothes from our last house as you'll see in a moment as I'm pulling out the kids clothes from in there so just getting curtain why do I keep saying curtain rods we also need curtain rods but closet rods and shelves and then designing our closet in our bathroom will be like the next major things <laughs> heart sweater that I got from TJ Maxx last year. Would it be too much? I don't know why I'm asking you like you guys could freaking tell me right now, but I'm thinking, is that too many hearts? No, I think that's kind of cute. We're going to do our little heart love Amazon necklace. Yeah, that's fun. Oh wait, it should probably be a little lower. Just jazz it up a little bit. The only time I get out of the house is to take my daughter to dance. So like still comfy but like kind of cute i don't know also this is a nursing bra under here but i feel like i can get away with it because it kind of looks like it could be like a cami underneath but that's what i'm gonna wear and then shoes and i've got to get the children dressed i picked out trip's outfit reagan's already in her mermaid leotard she slept in it last night i was like you know what yes you can sleep in it because we're excited we are building anticipation for dance class today so we just got to get her hair done do all that and then hit the road we have about 30 minutes to do so i think it's just now nine o'clock 
Here's what I was talking about when I was saying we were living out of suitcases and duffel bags and black trash bags from when we moved all of our stuff and hangers on the floor. But this will eventually be our vanity and like a closet. My baby has dance today. What happened? Well, this little man. What happened? Just spit up all down my leg. He spit up on me. I gotta clean that up because I don't know if I have any other pants. Yeah, I do it. You do it? You clean me up? More king. Well, as you can see, Reagan most definitely did not keep her hair in a pony for a dance, and that's because Banner called me and said, hey, our kitchen cabinets are getting delivered at 10. Can you be there to let them in? And I was like, yo, bro, she's got dance. Can you come home? So he was trying to get his booty back home, and I was trying to clean the space so they could have room to deliver them. And then in all, we didn't make it to dance, and, you know, that was not fun. But I was so excited to get our cabinets and be one step closer to finally having a working kitchen and yes I definitely hid the camera behind the couch because I was like oh my gosh I don't want you to know that I'm filming which I mean I didn't film him like his face without his knowledge but I definitely just filmed him putting these boxes right here and I was like ah please don't think I'm weird but the delivery men were super nice and even asked if Trip was British because of the way he says mom and I was like uh, oh, he probably watches way too much Peppa Pig and I'm pretty sure that reference went straight over their head because obviously they're grown men and they probably don't watch Peppa Pig, but it was the perfect opportunity and I had to say it. All right, dance plans got nixed today, which is a little unfortunate, but Reagan has like some blisters from wearing her shoes outside, her like dress up shoes. So I just kind of said, we'll wait till your feet get better. But our kitchen cabinets got delivered today. I don't know when install will be, hopefully later this week. And I'm so excited to reveal all these cabinets and see what it looks like when it's all put together because I haven't really seen like an actual rendering like a real life looking rendering so I'm excited I know like what the cabinet colors look like but not a hundred percent like what it's gonna really look like if that makes sense like you can only get as like 3d as possible wow and then while they were bringing in the cabinets reagan got these little um stick things from amazon she really wanted rainbows in her bedroom rainbows and unicorns to match her sheets so we got these like peel and stick um little rainbows to go on here and she put them all right here they look so good um, but they're actually really awesome we have pretty like textured walls and they are sticking really really well so i'll probably go back and rearrange these can we get more from this yeah we'll put more up is it all over my bed? yes you want it all over your bedroom yeah like the seat well maybe we'll put them all behind your bed like on that wall that, that we'll probably put them all over here that, that but i didn't want to do anything like permanent that with paint wall? Here's a closer look at what the rainbows look like when they're on the sheet. They come in packs of like six sheets or 12 sheets and I definitely ordered only six sheets in the beginning and that was not enough so then I ordered another six sheets. So if you're trying to do this, I would probably just go straight for the 12 sheets. When it came time to put them on this back wall, I just eyeballed it. I kind of tried to center it where her bed was and her bed isn't centered directly on this wall. So I probably could have done it differently, but I just went off of where her bed is and where her bed will stay and I knew if I tried to do it too perfectly I would stress myself out and never get these up on the wall so thankfully the rainbows themselves are organic shapes so it kind of works if they're like not perfectly aligned and then you know Reagan was trying to help me so I had to go back and rearrange them so thankfully they are very sticky and will allow for that and look at her she was so excited she was jumping up and down and just a fun easy way to add some personality to her room without having to do anything too permanent 
in it and I can always just take these off if she changes her mind. So here I am just trying to put them in windows and it was really easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Here's what Reagan's room looks like as Wes just sits there. I was able to get all of the rainbows up. I kind of should have started over here, I think, but I don't know if it would have been any different just because of the way that I staggered them in the windows anyway. See how that one ends up top and that one ends in a space. I'm just, I think it looks good, but there is definitely a big hole behind her bed that I didn't do. So hopefully we don't ever move her bed from this location, but I'm so excited. And then we'll get some like lighter pink bedding eventually, but that is just not, not a priority at the moment. Look at that little panda baby, looking at his toes. I wanna get a room semi set up for him so that he has a space. 